Hi DIY friends, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Dollar Tree has an amazing hidden gem. Duct tape, have you ever tried it before? If not, you definitely should. It's great and it's only $1.25 and that is 75% off the name brand. Plus, they have fun colors and designs too. Plus, there are tons of things duct tape is useful for. So let's dive into 25 of the best duct tape ideas right now. Keep your work surfaces safe from accidental spills with the help of a roll of duct tape. Simply sit the roll on your desk as a cup holder. It will help to keep your drinks upright and from scooting around. No more big spills and keeps your work surface safe and clean. Is pet hair a problem for you like it is for us now? We recently got a new puppy, so we have dog hair galore now. And if you're in a pinch, this is a great hack. Grab one of these paint rollers from Dollar Tree or grab one that you already have around your home and put some duct tape on there backwards so the sticky side is sticking up and you have an instant lint roller. And honestly, I feel like these do work a lot better as the duct tape is much more sticky than the actual lint rollers that are $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I had to give this next hack a try as it's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine whenever I go to sweep my floors and then I use a dustpan and a lot of the dirt actually goes underneath your dustpan. It just drives me crazy that I have to sweep it and sweep it and sweep it. But this is a great hack. You actually take some duct tape and tape your dustpan to the floor. Why would you do that? Well, because it prevents all of the extra dirt from going underneath and it goes right up over the tape and into your dustpan. Then you can remove your tape from the floor and the majority of it does make it into the dustpan and then use that duct tape to pick up any of the loose dirt and dust left behind. Do you have floors you want to keep protected from the bottoms of your chairs? This is a great way to save your floors. Grab some duct tape and as close as the color of your furniture as you can. This is actually burlap style duct tape and I'm just adding that onto the bottom of my chair leg, cutting it off so I don't have a bunch coming up the sides of the chair leg so you really don't see it at all. It definitely kind of helps to grab on too, so this would be great on the bottom of planters that you might have in your house or things you don't want to move around, but it also protects your floors from getting scratched or beat up. Here's another great idea if you're in a pinch and you want to protect little fingers or pets from your electrical outlets, grab some duct tape and take that plate cover off your walls. Go ahead, add some of your duct tape over those holes and then stretch and bend the duct tape over the edges so they don't come up undone. Then you'll press that down firmly, grab some scissors or something sharp, route out the hole so you can then reattach your plate back onto the wall. So this is a definitely a temporary fix and not a permanent one, but like I said, if you're in a pinch, this is definitely better than nothing. I'm sure a lot of us have used duct tape to help us label things like tote boxes and storage boxes, but you can also use them in fun places like your craft room to make them look nice. Just use some scissors, cut it down so the ends look nice and clean. I'm using a pencil box here from Dollar Tree. It was just something clear and plastic that I could then remove the duct tape from as I wrote with a Sharpie marker whatever I needed to label, in this case, styrofoam. Yes, these bins are even from Dollar Tree too, and I always get them mixed up, so this was definitely needed in my craft space, and a quick way for me to just add these onto the fronts, and of course, these are also removable too, so if I change my mind or decide to move things around, I still have that option. It always seems like it is so difficult to find the end or even get the end up off of your duct tape after it has sat for a while. So this is a great tip to take a paper clip, put it on the end of your duct tape roll until the next time you go to use it. Then you can remove your paper clip, use your duct tape as needed, and once you're finished, put that paper clip back on there and it's ready to go for the next round. Some people love glitter and confetti, some people don't. Let me know who you are down in the comments below. I love glitter and confetti, I just like to use it in my projects. And I don't let it scare me because there's always ways to pick it up, clean it up, and this is one of them. Use your duct tape, wrap it around backwards so you have a little loop and your tackiness is on the outside. Take your hand, go over your surface, and it will pick up the glitter and the confetti for you. You actually have two sides 
of this, once it gets full, go ahead, twist it around to the backside and you are ready to go to get the rest of your mess up. The hardware section at Dollar Tree has so many amazing things, especially their sandpaper. And honestly, I haven't been a huge fan of it, but I like to grab it because it's easy. I'm there a lot. And I love the Dollar Tree carries things like this. However, their sandpaper isn't the greatest until you do this hack. So as you can see here, I hadn't used it very much and it gets a hole in it very easily. But with this trick, it'll save you and it will elongate the use of your sandpaper. Take your duct tape, put a few rows on the backside. It's going to harden up the back for you and make these last longer. It's also gonna save your hands a little bit because it's gonna give it a nice place to rest as you are sanding. It's also gonna grip on, so you have a little bit more grip as you're sanding too. You can see here, the same amount of sanding, less damage to the sandpaper, and it will make it last longer and go farther. I'm going to admit I have zero power when it comes to opening jars. I have contraptions that help me do it, but if you don't wanna spend money on a contraption, grab yourself some duct tape instead. Wrap some of it around part of the jar, then you're gonna take the tail and you're gonna crimp it in half. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just make sure your duct tape is not stuck onto the glass, just the lid by itself. Then you're gonna grab on tight to the duct tape, pull and voila, magically your lid comes loose. Whether you are in the workshop or your craft room, there are just some dangerous things. Hot glue gun burns is one of my things I still can't avoid as many years as I have been using one. So whenever accidents happen, I always have duct tape close to use as a band-aid. Yep, super easy, grab it, throw it on, then I don't have to slow down and I can finish my project. Surprise, you guys are all getting the first look at my She Shed decked out for Christmas time. I am in love with it. I also got some new candles, these pillars, the lights in the garland and the taper candles on the mantle all came with remotes. You guys, if you don't have candles with remotes, it will change your life and it'll change your Christmas experience. However, each candle came with its own remote, so I needed to label them. So I found this fun Christmas ribbon or red and green and white ribbon at Dollar Tree, labeled each one of the remotes. And now I know what I need to turn them off and on. And I will link all these candles down in the description box below. They're all from Amazon, super inexpensive. But again, will change your Christmas way of decorating. Duct tape is also a great way to pack up your boxes. So you know they are safe and they will arrive without being damaged. However, I found this amazing tape that is so cute on Amazon. I thought it was duct tape. It's not, it's packing tape, but I still had to share it with you anyway because it is so cute and I'm gonna be sending all my boxes out with this adorable tape on it. I found it on Amazon. I will link it down below. But how fun is this? You can even get your kiddos involved, grab some Sharpie markers, go to town. You can color it in if you want. You can leave it plain if you want, but I just love this so much. It's so cute. It may not be duct tape, but it was still worth sharing. Who wouldn't smile when they saw this box arrive at their home? Happy mail for sure. If you're going to be doing traveling in the near future, this is a tip for using duct tape to help identify your luggage. So there are so many black suitcases or all the suitcases start looking the same, or maybe you just forgot what your suitcase looks like. When you get to baggage claim, add some duct tape to the handle. You'll never forget that you added some green tape to your handle and you'll be able to identify it quickly. This idea is multifunctional. Grab yourself some of these zipper freezer bags from Dollar Tree or any kind of zip style Ziploc bag. I like these because they are a little bit nicer, a little bit thicker and take your duct tape and just wrap it around whatever kind of style, whatever kind of colors. Obviously we're going with a Christmassy theme here with the red and green holographic tape from Dollar Tree. Just adding some on there and it basically reinforces the bag, makes it more strong. Obviously it makes it more cute too, but this would be so perfect to add craft supplies in, use it as a pencil pouch, use it for food, use it for treats, use it for gifts. So like I said, multifunctional, get creative. This is so inexpensive, quick and easy. Speaking of easy, let's make a bookmark with duct tape. Yep, we're gonna take it and kind of do some origami folding. We're gonna turn the first corner down to the bottom to make a triangle, flip it over. You're gonna take the top, fold it down. We're gonna making another triangle with a seam down the center, fold it over, pick it up, 
turn it over, fold your triangle in half, and then we're gonna pull the tail up over that. And we are gonna take our scissors now and cut off the excess tape. So we basically made a triangle that has a little pocket in it when you flip it over to the bottom. And that is what we're gonna use for our bookmark. So quick and easy, little ones could do this too and help you and you can make tons and tons of these out of one roll of duct tape. Here's another quick version of it so you can watch it again to see how it works. You can even pause this, go back, rewatch, and learn how to do this so quick, so fast. And these are so cute, especially you could do these for so many different holidays and seasons, switch them out. They're inexpensive and I love it. I have this cute little Christmas book I got from the thrift store. So now I have some cute bookmarks to add to it. Now that I have you in the Christmas spirit, let's keep with the theme. You can find these clear plastic ornaments at Dollar Tree and a fun way to decorate them is with some duct tape. You'll take your duct tape, kind of roll it out and then roll your ornament along the side for sizing purposes. And then you'll kind of cut it even longer than that. Then you'll take it, take it, stretch it out, cut a slit right at the top in the center and pull them apart. That'll give you two equal size pieces. Then you're going to cover your ornament with the duct tape going from one side to the other. Any excess keep, cause we're gonna use that to fill holes, kind of offset the next piece going from top and then filling in the holes with that extra tape we had left over. Then you'll go ahead and continue this process until your entire ornament is covered. So it'll look just like this. Then you can go ahead, add your topper back on there and you can add some ribbon to the top, decorate it extra with some ribbon if you want, embellishment, however you want, and use whatever style, color, duct tape that you have on hand or that you can find or that is Christmassy. Just a fun way to decorate an inexpensive clear ornament. I got so much use out of this red and green holographic duct tape at Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna stay with this Christmas theme. There's more on a roll than you really think and I'm so loving that. We're gonna make some gift tags this time. We're gonna take some duct tape, fold it in half and then cut off the top so we cut all the extra stickiness off. Then you're gonna take this rectangle and cut the corners off of one end. So this is what is going to give you that gift tag shape. Now you can use a hole punch, again from Dollar Tree, punches right through your tape, gives you a little hole at the top so you can then add in some ribbon or twine. So I'm showing you some Christmassy ideas here, but think outside the box as well. You can use these for every different holiday season celebration, depending on the type of duct tape that you use. Use the Sharpie marker to add your to and from and you are good to go. Back to our cardboard box. We're gonna make coasters out of it this time. We're gonna take the box and we're gonna cut out circles. So depending on how many coasters you want, cut that many circles. I did two here. We're gonna take our duct tape, whatever color that you want, cover the top, fold it up and around the edges and onto the backside. Anything that is sticking up, you're gonna take some scissors, cut that off so it sits flat. Do that to all your coasters. And then we are going to put some felts on the other side. It's gonna do a couple things. It is going to add a nice finished look for it, but it's gonna give you a two option coaster at the same time. Take some hot glue, glue your felt onto the bottom. And the first one is if you put your felt on the top, that's a great way to help collect any moisture that your cup may have. And also the bottom, the duct tape is going to keep it from running around on you, or you can flip it over to the other side and it'll protect your surface and keep your cup from moving around on, on you. So a double duty coaster. Let's make some key rings now. So you can find these inexpensively at Walmart. I will also link some down in the description box below. We're gonna take and cut a long piece of duct tape off right in the center, cut down about an inch, an inch and a quarter and cut that corner off. Then we're gonna take and fold our duct tape in half below where we cut, just fold it in half, push it together. And then we're gonna insert our rings. So you're gonna push it down just below where the tackiness is. And then we're gonna fold the tackiness is over and that's gonna give our ring a little opening for the ring to slide onto. You don't want the stickiness holding your ring in place, otherwise you won't be able to get your keys on there. This is a great way to make cute little 
uh, key rings, but also a great way to label keys if you're needing that too. This next one is just for fun. Grab some of this hook and loop fastener from Dollar Tree. It's also basically known as adhesive back Velcro. We're going to make some fun bracelets. So cut a long strip of your duct tape of choice and you're going to fold it in half long ways. And it's okay if you have some of that adhesive kind of poking out, take your scissors, trim that off so you don't see it. And then we're going to fit that around our wrist. So I kind of dry fit and then held where I needed to cut it down, use some scissors, and then we're going to add our Velcro adhesive one side to one end, flip it over, do the opposite side to the other end, and you have a quick and easy bracelet. This is something fun you can do with kiddos, maybe a fun class project, decorate them up, just something, like I said, for fun. Dollar Tree has so many awesome picture frames. I pretty much get all of mine from there. I love this one with a galvanized clip in it. And I think a lot of us probably think to paint our picture frames, but have you ever thought to add some duct tape around them? This is a fun way to add some metallic red ribbon onto a picture frame. It really just jazzed it up. It's so quick and easy. You just trim it so it fits around and fits into the corners. Add a little sticker Santa Claus onto the clip. Instant Christmas decor. This is cute for a little note to Santa, but you could do it for a Christmas wish list. You could do it for a menu board. You could do it for a to-do list. So many ideas for this frame. These next two ideas are oldies, but goodies. And I'm throwing them in here because they're great Dollar Tree hacks using duct tape. All right, so now we're gonna make a candy cane out of a pool noodle, but we need to do a little bit of Christmas magic to make that happen. But before I show you that, we gotta turn this into what looks like a peppermint. So I have some Dollar Tree white duct tape that I'm just gonna wrap around the pool noodle first. Down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light while we're dancing around the chimney. All right, so here's my pool noodle. It's looking like a candy cane, except now we gotta do the magic. So what you do, hold it. And the magic, which will hold that down, is fishing string. So I'm just gonna tie it around the pool noodle to hold it and you won't see it because it's clear. I have a challenge for you. If you have never made a pool noodle wreath, this is the year to try it because it is so easy. You can find these pool noodles at Dollar Tree too, and you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller. And we're gonna do that with the help of duct tape. So I wanted my wreath a little bit smaller. It's so easy to cut these pool noodles down with a knife. And then bring your ends together, use your duct tape to attach the ends. Add a couple layers. You don't want this coming and popping back apart, especially after you have it all decorated up. So this is the start of it. Then I went ahead and wrapped the entire wreath with some green duct tape so it looked like a wreath underneath. However, they do have green pool noodles at Christmas time, so keep your eye open, then you don't have to use all the duct tape to do what I did. And I really probably didn't need to do this anyway because I just took some ribbon and covered the entire thing up, added a bow on there, tied it with some ribbon, added a little bit of hot glue, and then I really wanted some glitz and glam to this too, so I had some glitter red ornaments that I also hot glued onto the front as well. If you have another fun hack for duct tape that I didn't include in this video, leave those in the comments down below for me so I can read through. Maybe there's something I didn't know. Please also give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Check the description box for links I mentioned throughout this video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.